Hey guys, Keylistho here. Got another knife for you coming straight out of the EMP Knives Workshop. Um, today I have something pretty sweet, which I'm pretty, pretty excited about. Which you, what you see here is a um, 5 inch Savage model. You can see it's got a beautiful edge. The stone wash, acid dip finish on there. The logos in there. Got some uh, black canvas micarta, but it kind of looks a little olive drab and black after you sand into it, so I don't know. But this knife is pretty sweet. You can see here it's got some copper liners, which I just think look amazing. It's totally sweet looking. Totally sweet looking. I got the matching. Uh, copper little skull bead to go with it which is cool and the little mummy wrap so same thing here as all the other savages uh, monkey edge hardware removable handles um, the lanyard tube is pressed into the left side and um, and also got something special for this knife which is this knife is actually CPM 154 and man oh man this is awesome stuff. I've never used this before, but I sure like the end result. It is pretty cool. So the stock is a little bit thinner. A little bit thinner than some of my other Savage models. Well, let me uh, let's get this out here real quick. We'll mic it. I guess you call it mic it. So there you go, 167.167. So it's a little bit thinner, but it's pretty cool. This thing turned out really nice. Really like how this one turned out. This is another one of those, damn, I wish I didn't have to give this to the person who paid for it, because I want to keep it. But, oh well, you will definitely love it. And the copper was his idea, and man, I will probably do another one because it is pretty sweet. Um, it's pretty thin copper. I forget how thick it is, but I have another sheet up here, which is, uh, here you can see where I got it from USA Knife Maker. So it's .02 inch, 24 gauge. So, that's pretty awesome. Pretty stoked about that. Um, I know a bunch of people were asking about when I'm going to get some more knives. Well, this is what I got to work on here. So there's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff going on here. And this one right here is the one I'm keeping for myself. Oh yeah, LMAX. So I'm going to give this one a try. And I'm definitely keeping this one, so sorry guys. Don't anybody ask me for that one. Um, I got this one right here. I'm going to make my first one out of uh, some 5160. This one is going to be a beast. I don't even know. This is just a long version. 8 inch. 8 inch blade. It's going to have an 8 inch blade. So this one's going to be cool. There you go. 5160. I'm going to try to heat treat that one here my, myself. Um, another 6 inch Savage. N690. Here's a 5 inch N690, which is a bit thinner stock. Actually, wait, those are both thinner stock. So, here's a here's a 4 inch, which I believe is like 0.2 something stock. There you go, 206. Um, and then I got this piece here, which has two 4 inch Savages, and then one of my little PSK pocket skinny knives right there on the end a bunch of little holes that are gonna you know I don't know see my other videos and, uh, and here's the other piece of that uh, CPM 154 so I'm gonna make two four inch savages out of the CPM 154 um, these are gonna be pretty cool too so so I got a lot of stuff to be working on not to mention 
Uh, let me reach over here. Got myself some of this. Oh yeah, some titanium. Guess what this is gonna be for, hmm? I'll keep you guys guessing on that one. But anyways, just uh, just wanted to show this one. I haven't got a sheath made for this one yet. The guy who um, ordered this one from me, he wants to uh, have like a boot or an inside the waistband type sheath. So I don't know, I've got a couple different options for him. He's actually local, so he's just gonna come over here and we're gonna we're gonna sort of make the sheath how how it needs to be for him, so. And I imagine I, I won't have time to make a video after that since he'll probably be here when I just, I'll just make the sheath real quick while he's here and then get it fitted nice for him, so. So yeah, this thing turned out excellent though. But this one had some, you can see it's a flat grind to here and then it's sort of just about right here is the grind line and uh, it's hard to see on here but it was a really good and there you can kind of see the grind line it was a really good grind lines on this one I was happy with the way it turned out I kind of didn't really want to acid dip it but I don't know after after acid dipping it it really just sets off that copper that copper just looks amazing next to that dark steel it's pretty cool probably should have acid dip that but I don't know. I guess it's alright. It's hard to press this into the handle after it's all sharp. So, anyways. Just gonna see if we can get that edge on there. Turned out really good. It's not mirror polish. I don't got a wicked edge, but. The edge is pretty nice. It's 220 grit and then basically stropped on a leather belt that goes on my belt sander, like a 1x42 leather belt. So it's it's pretty sharp. Sharp enough to shave your arm, so it's really nice. I really love the way the grind line looks on that finished edge against the dark. Turned out really good. Well, anyways, thanks for watching guys, and keep your eyes open. I will be having more product available soon. As soon as I get my butt out in this garage and keep it out here, I will uh, start getting these other knives cranked out, and, uh, and they will be available for sale. So any questions or anything, just feel free to email me, text me if you want. Give me a call, whatever works. Alright guys, thanks for watching.